What is up, YouTube family? Thank God for another day, for letting us wake up and uh, go to the gym. This channel, oh, my name is Santos, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, this channel is all about uh, self-improvement and uh, my financial uh, debt-free journey that I'm starting. I had, uh, I was able to um, save $25,000 in the past under Dave Ramsey's plan, uh, but that's another video. I wanna talk about that on how you can achieve that. And uh, right now, or this video is going to talk about my plan on uh, tackling my debt. Uh, like I said, I had zero debt. And then I've made a few mistakes um, after that. I kind of just fell off the wagon a little bit, right? Uh, I'm only human, <laughs> I make mistakes. Of course, I would like to be perfect but nobody's perfect in this world so we're allowed to make mistakes but the the thing is are you going to learn from those mistakes so basically um a lot of that money went towards paying my uh my daughter's medical bills when we when we had her and uh, or my wife had her <laughs> uh I, kudos to women man and shout out to my wife that's crazy. That's crazy. If you're a father, you know what I'm talking about. What they go through in the in the emergency room. <laughs> but um yeah, so at the time I was like, you know what? I'm paying almost $1600 rent uh because my apartments had up my rent fee from 1400 to 1600. Uh or no, from 1400 to 1500. Or fifteen fifty, so I don't know. I have to, I have to go back. But it was about a, it was a good substantial increase. It's not like a twenty fifty dollar increase. It was, it's a good substantial increase. And uh, at the time, I was like, you know what? I think, I think I'm better off, you know, buying a house, right? Buying a house uh, because I would be paying that much in mortgage or whatever. What I didn't know is that uh, there, there's there's risks behind that, right? Being a homeowner, anything that goes wrong with the house, you got to fix. You can't just call and say, "Hey, uh, water heater went out. Can you uh, come fix it?" Okay, cool. No, you got to do all that yourself. Uh, thankfully, my um, my my house was built in 2021, so it's it's fairly new, and it doesn't have uh, you know a lot of things that I have to take care of. I had to take care of a hydrant that that uh, that broke. Um, what else? I've had to fix some electrical issues because the person that did my electrical in this house didn't do a very good job, so I had to had to fix that. What else? Um, that's about it. Uh, you know, uh, God willing, everything stays the way it is for now. But I bought. Uh, I I I got into the first home buyer experience. Now, some people might feel a little different uh, with that uh feel that it's it's a really good investment in my point of view is in the it's 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 eh, all right because now that i'm looking to my my mortgage and how much i pay in interest and how much i pay in interest um it hurts it hurts to see that much go to interest only and only about 200 and something towards principal and mind you my my my, my mortgage payment is 1700 dollars a month and that hurts that stings right um, my, my thought was, or, or is if I am able to, if I would have been able to find a rent that's around, you know, 1500, uh, I could have been saving that principal plus more so I could later put down on a, on a house payment. Right. Uh, but I'm already here, right. I'm already here. I'm going to make the best out of it. And, uh, at the time I had cars, if you guys don't follow my main channel my main channel is it was was just car just cars right i tried to change my content and things like that but i feel like i need to dedicate a specific channel for my specific talks and leave that for cars but who knows i might change again i don't know but if you guys do support me so make sure make sure to subscribe to this channel so i can continue making some videos and uh so i sold i sold the camaro i sold the corvette um and and, and all of that right 
because I wanted to be debt free. I wanted to be debt free and I wanted to start pursuing investing or whatever. So I sold the Corvette, bought my truck because we needed a family car. And then for some reason, uh, it's not for some reason. I mean, we need a second car, but we didn't need this second car, which it wasn't, it's, it's not, it, it's not expensive because I never buy anything, especially for a daily. I never buy anything north of 13, 14,000 or a sports car. And at the time that I was in sports cars and still doing that stuff, that stuff, like I'm, I'm saying it like it's something bad doing the car content. Um, I, I wouldn't buy a sports car over $25,000 just because I feel like anything over that is just way too much money. Just way too much. Even 25 is a lot of money, but, um, I was like, you know what? We, we need a second car, which we do because my wife has her business. And, uh, but I was like, you know what? I don't know what got into me going to a dealer. I'm anti dealerships. I went to a dealership, got this car. I got it locked in at, uh, I think 9% interest and my payments are like $300. And the sale price for this car was, I think 13. So, uh, or 12, five, I think it was 12, five. Um, and so it was, it's not a bad deal, but being head of household and helping my, my wife run her business, which we just started, you know, in back in October. And you guys know that the first year or two, there's not much of a profit, uh, or pretty much clearing out right now, which is good, which is not bad because at least we're not in, in the negatives, right? Uh, and I'm able to help recover some expenses and things like that. But being head of household, owning your own home, having having a child, uh, having car payments, on, all of that starts eating up your income, right? All of that starts, and not to mention food. I went to the grocery store and I bought, well, I bought diapers and, and, uh, and wipes and that was a good $75. So that's a big chunk of that. But I bought some groceries like i didn't buy like a full week or week and a half was a um, worth of groceries and the guy was scanning everything and you know how you can see the screen just going up going up with the price i was like dang and then he was like all right your total is 255 i was like 255 i didn't i didn't, I didn't say that right <laughs> but inside of me i was like 255 255 for what i had like 10 bags i'm like and then I started to realize, I'm like, listen, I don't know what's going on, but you can't even get groceries for a hundred dollars anymore. Like, that's crazy. That those times are gone. Your minimum, minimum spending at least 150 for just food, for just necessities, right? So groceries, car payments, mortgage payments, uh, you know, my daughter needs things here and there. All of that eats up our income and being in debt does not help at all because we had a little small loan for for the business which we're, we're, we're already uh starting to pay off really quick um i had some credit card uh fees because we had to get her something for the business when we didn't have the business credit at that at that at that point and then i had to go you guys know my my previous videos i'm going through my immigration uh process and it's not cheap so i, I had to put some things on my credit card and we're still trying to figure out what we're going to do on the next step because it's another, you know, $4,000 trying to see what the best route for that is. And then, um, we have this and then my wife has a little bit of student loans. So all of that together, um, is, is, is a good chunk of debt. I'm not talking about, I've, I've seen people on the Dave Ramsey show or in other shows that, uh, have a hundred, $160,000 debt, uh, and, and they make it out. Mine is close to forty thousand dollars with everything included. I'm talking about student debt, uh, car, credit cards, uh, uh, business credit uh, line, and uh, I, I'm 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 starting to. I already have a semi strict uh, budget, but I gotta get it. I gotta get it more strict. I'm gonna start doing DoorDash again. I just applied for Lyft. Uh, see how that goes. But I, I'm, I have to grind. I have to grind in order to get to my goal. I was talking to somebody and debt is so normal. It's so normalized now that 
uh, he was like, listen, man, just like, don't stress it. Everybody's in debt. You're going to be in debt all your life, especially if you have kids and things like that. And I was like, dang, like, that's crazy. It's so normalized out there that people just think it's normal now. It's, they think it's normal to pay 28% interest rate on a credit card. They think it's it's normal to, to just have the nicest cards and pay. And then at the end of the day, you know, when they, whenever they're older, 65, 67, now that the retirement age is 67, uh, they're like, where the heck is all my money? Where, where do you think your money went? Where do, where do you think? Huh? Where do you think? Go go back in time and think about the decisions you made. But, um, yeah, my plan is to go crazy. Uh, as Dave says it, gazelle intense. And we're, we're going to tackle this debt, right? We're going to tackle this debt. I don't know what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to try to balance my, my work life. And uh, because I love being with my daughter, that's one of the big things that always gets to me that I'm not spending enough time with my daughter. And I try to spend uh, uh, most of, uh, well, a lot of the time, well, not most of the time, a lot. I like to spend a good amount of time with my daughter with, with either watching shows with her, playing with her, uh, taking her to the park, things like that, because it's a, it's being a parent is 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 a lot is a lot on your shoulders but that's my plan uh i might go into my debt more detailed and what i'm doing but right now i'm just telling you guys that that's my plan i'm gonna start doing side hustles uh things like that to get my income to where i want to be so i can become debt free so that i can use that income to provide and invest for my family in the future um because my dollar my, my, my dollar my daughter is getting is is growing fast and by the time i know it, she's gonna have to go to uh school college and all this so i want to plan i want to start planning ahead and so that is my plan that is my plan um it, it's and plus we want to travel too and traveling costs a lot of money i just came back from mexico and I spent close to three grand, but a lot of this, those were, were immigration fees, but, uh, and the ticket alone was a thousand dollars, but that is for another video maybe, but that is my plan. <coughs> if you guys are watching this video and you guys are having, you know, that decision to, to get out of debt, comment below what your plan is. I want to hear everybody else's plan. I want to hear your perspective. I want to, I want to not hear, but I want to read your perspective. I want to read your comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be updating you guys soon on how it's going. And yeah, subscribe to the channel. We're going to be having a lot of stuff on here. Like I said, self-improvement type things. Uh, I might include some workouts, um, a lot of other type of devices on here. And just basically my life because I wanted to separate um, all this content from my main channel. I still don't know what I'm going to do. I'm still I'm still debating. I don't know what to do. I do this for fun. I don't do this for for money. If money comes along and and it's invited, right? It, because who doesn't like a little bit of extra money? But I'm not doing it. I started to to do that on my main channel and I didn't like it. I'm like, "You know what? I'm 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 too pressured. I don't want to do this." But anyways, enough of the chit-chat. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys hitting the like button and we'll see you guys in the next video.